What is up you guys? So uh, Brie and I are currently here making some pizza and I was gonna try to eat some salad but it's so kind of brown so um yeah we'll see how that goes. I don't know. We bought it every time I feel like I buy like spinach or salad uh, I feel like I just don't really uh, don't use it and then it turns bad so that's kind of why I eat so bad, eat so unhealthy, is because of all that. But anyways, we're gonna be making homemade pizzas, try to show you guys how it's done, and then asking each other some random questions along the way. If you guys like my videos, give a thumbs up, please, and comment below. And uh, yeah, let's get this thing going. single time we make pizza I eat pineapple the whole time whole time we're making it oh, crap. I drain it out now the key is you guys to save some of that pineapple juice and pour it on your half of the pizza it makes it at least 100 times better Brie always eats my half of the pizza it always acts like it's gross but it's the pineapple juice okay so we're gonna be asking each other random questions and the first random question B. what was your first car? A 96 Pontiac Grand Prix. And how did you like it? His name was Arnold because he never died and he was a Terminator. How many miles did it have? Like 260,000 miles. Yeah, Bree said that. No, 280,000 miles. You say like all the windows didn't work and the AC didn't no, work. No, um, the, the heater, heater didn't, didn't work. work, the AC didn't <laughs> work, the windows didn't roll up and down. Um, it was literally metal box. Yeah. My uh, my first car was a 1969 Plymouth Valiant that I still have that you guys haven't seen because I'm lazy and can't get it going. But it just needs the brakes put in it, some new brakes on it. That's all it needs. But yeah, you guys will see it one day. So now you gotta stir it for like, break up all those pieces of shortening. And yeah, it's like, I don't know, just until you can't really see them, which is hard because flour already clumps up together. So, yeah, once those are all broken up, then we go to the next step. But, um, Bree, question you asked me. What was your first job? First job, you guys should know this. The Idaho Pizza for a full year. And, um, yeah, it was like freaking awesome. I loved it. Got the job because of my sister. And then, yeah, I got hired on there and just like, I looked forward to it almost every single day. I loved working there because I was like made pizzas in the kitchen and it was it was super great. And um, yeah, I just, the reason I left was I was getting tired because they hardly ever gave out raises there. Like they're just, you, there's hardly any money to be made. And I mean, I got free pizza like every single day, which is ironic because we're making pizza right here. But yeah, it, uh, I don't know. They don't really get a lot of money, but most of my like friends that I, I know that I still talk to like were from that place. So it's a super cool place, and um, yeah, I loved it. So if you guys ever get a chance to get a pizza job, freaking do it. gotta get it ready to put on the pan right here but um if you could go to one country which country would you go to right now free two-week trip greece greece how come because who goes to greece i'm just kidding italians. <laughs> i don't know I just, <laughs> italians is that what you're saying yeah that's a joke i don't know i just feel like it's a cool place i feel like it's got a lot of cool stuff yeah and it's not like a typical place that people talk about going to. That's true. Okay. It's a different experience. Yes, my hands are clean. Avery, hey, you have to ask me a question now. Exotic pet, what would it be? It'd be a lion. 
I have a lion so fast, you wouldn't believe your eyes. Freaking favorite animal. No, like, lion you couldn't really have as a pet. Like, there's no, you could keep it in a cage outside your house and, like, maybe play with it, but, like, really risky move. Um, actual, like, exotic thing. Tigers. People have pet tigers a lot of time, right? Probably get a tiger because they're close. And then, yeah, they'd be sick. Just be like that one song, whatever it is, that he says he has a tiger as a pet. Better get started, you already upset. Got a tiger as a pet, I just took him to the vet. We got the dough all situated here. Gonna pour on the Hunt's four cheese right there. That's not yet. We have to cut oh. this first. Okay, okay, I'm jumping steps here. We're gonna put that on and then put the sauce on and put the cheese on. You guys are gonna see it. If you could speak any language fluidly perfect, what language would be? I know this Chinese. One. Chinese. Really? Yeah, because I could know what they were saying when I get my nails done. Not that these are done, but. It's like done. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese. So, would you want to go to China? No. Well, I don't know. Well, so there was a customer named Don yeah. who told me that China is super cool, so. Wait, oh, wait, tell me that story. Didn't he like go over there? No, so the, apparently, so this old man who comes through. This guy, is, this guy is a dick. Um, I was talking. Not, not he drives dick. some 72 freaking he's duster. Nice and he, he is so proud of his. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, so he dated, or no, he was on a dating website for Asian women. And. Solid life choice. He decided to go visit one of them in China and that lady ended up being crazy or something like that And then he met another lady while he was there and then she was apparently crazy too Because she wanted to get married and they were dating for like three months or something like probably that. thought he had money If but he was kept white flying old back. and in China. Yeah, he had flying to China to yeah. go meet all these Asian women so he could find a wife Probably does have money. So <laughs> yeah, is that why you would want to know Chinese? So you could no, I just want to know how, what they're saying when I get my nails done. King Sean. Don't be racist. <laughs> You're the racist one getting it from her. Actually, if I were being serious right now, I'd probably say French. Ah, uh, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> she took French in high school. And so I was like, oh, she's going to say French, no big deal. And she did Chinese, so. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, how wrong is it that Brie will take a bite of a brick of freaking cheese? Look at this. Look at these bite marks on this thing. She <laughs> stared me in the eyes and took a... Oh, who does that? It sh that, okay, that's wrong on every single level. You don't... <laughs> it's literally a brick. Like, you gotta... You just, there's so much cheese. Mm -mm. I don't, I don't I like that. I pour pineapple juice on my pizza. <laughs> oh, that's a normal. You love my pizzas. If you don't get this movie reference, I'm gonna be really upset with you. Um, what's your favorite kind of cheese? My favorite. Mm-hmm. My favorite kind of cheese is mozzarella cheese. Simple. Your Bree's favorite is what? Sharp white cheddar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. I don't. <laughs> or Gouda. <laughs> Just kidding. What'd you say? That's a lie. What'd you say? That's a lie. What movie is that from? If you know the answer to my question, comment down below. Yeah, so now we're doing the fat free craft cheddar right here. And probably we don't have a ton of it, so we'll probably use some like regular cheese on that. But I strongly recommend that stuff. It's got like a ton of protein and it's pretty low in fat and I wanna say that carbs too. Well fat free. <laughs> but yeah, it's like honestly really good. It tastes really good. It's like a not it's a different like consistency just slightly, but it's super good, so I like it. But Brie, if you could be any male celebrity for one day, who would it be? Rappers, there's actors, there's freaking athletes. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. Because then 
I could go on a police chase and not go to jail. That'd be pretty sick. <laughs> now I know. If <laughs> if there's ever a Justin Bieber police chase, it's Bree inside his body. <laughs> says that that's dirty he is upset but i usually do that she just doesn't see it because i know she's not gonna like it no i'm telling you it's like perfect do it evaporates i don't like how saucy that is <laughs> saucy 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 <laughs> there it is in my face <laughs> okay it's your turn to ask me a question so they can hear. If you could only have one sauce for the rest of your life, what sauce would it be? Um, probably probably barbecue sauce. I want to say campfire sauce from Red Robin, but probably barbecue sauce. I think that's a good answer because you could put barbecue sauce. Not burgers, um, fries, pizza. Pizza. I don't pizza I do that all the time. That's a good answer. Alright, you guys, we're gonna try this soda. We tried one before, different flavor, but Brie got the original flavor. So I'm guessing it's gonna taste like it says sangria on it. That's the brand. Oh, that's the brand. Okay. I was like, I don't know it why they flavored like after sangria. wine. <laughs> Oh, they flavored it after wine. I was like, wine flavored soda sounds foul. Maybe champagne flavored gummy bears. That's true. And they were not very good. Nothing. Take off that thing. Put this right there. Do that. Don't and it. You just have to press it. Okay, you get the first try. Tastes like. Sprite. I want to say, like, kind of. Yeah, it's like, like Sprite. A like a Sprite sort of deal. Yeah, freaking Japanese sodas are, yeah, Japanese sodas are elegant. I don't know if that's focusing very well, but yeah. So, um, so that's going to be it for the pizza making video. Uh, my final question to Bree is going to be if you could never use the internet again or never drive yourself again, what would you choose? Wait, drive? Drive yourself. Like, drive? you couldn't drive your own car. You could have someone else drive you out or you could call buses, Ubers, whatever. Or you could never use the internet again. What would you rather have oh, taken away? I would probably rather not have internet. Yeah. I don't see anything the same because like my favorite thing guys is like driving. I love driving and like having my car going and like pulling into a gas station, whatever, freaking going in there, grabbing a drink and snacks and like just driving like and I'm like if I had to rely on other people to drive me for the rest of my life, I would lose it. I see I would feel like not useful. Like yeah. I feel like I wouldn't feel independent. Like you can still use your phone internet, or computer. I would just, probably have a happy life. Yeah, same here. That's less problem. So, yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. Hopefully, it was something kind of fun to watch. I'm trying to come up with some different ideas for videos, and you know, more cooking and more, I don't know, just travel. Hopefully, and so yeah, we'll see where they go. But anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Love you so much, and I'll see you guys next video.